Hi, I'm Tyler with Management One, and in this video, I wanted to share with you how to specifically know what pet damage is in your rental property. Now, first off, I would like to let you know that over 70% of renters nowadays or more have at least one pet. So what does that mean for you as the owner? Well, a lot of times owners in our experience, and you might be thinking of this on your own, is that I don't want pets in my rental property. I don't want to have to deal with any pet damage, any of this, any of that, et cetera, et cetera. While all that is definitely understandable and we completely understand where you're coming from, 70% of renters have a pet. So instead of only marketing and renting to potentially 30% of the market, obviously we want to market to 100% of the market. And so we and other companies out there might have uh, pet guarantees or policies in place. But nevertheless, what we found are four top areas that you'll find pet damage in the property. So number one is pet dander. Now where we find that is a lot of times along the edge um, of the baseboards where the flooring or the carpet meets the baseboard uh, on the property, that's where you see a lot of pet dander. So it's pretty easy or just take your hand uh, with a glove if you'd like and scoop it up and see if there's any pet dander there. A lot of times obviously too, carpet cleaners um, or even just cleaners in general can vacuum that up and see if there's been any more damage than just the dander. Now, number two is carpet damage. So typically where we see carpet damage or what we see carpet damage of is obviously pet urine and also um, whether it's a cat most likely or sometimes a dog as well is where they're digging up on the carpet and lifting it um, or digging holes in the carpet. That's where we typically see that. Now, number three is going to be our doors and door frames is where we see damage. So a lot of times this is where outside pets, mainly dogs, are left outside for a long period of time, maybe when the owners uh, of the dog and your renter are at work for a long day. Um, they're scratching and gnawing at the door and in and around the door frames. So that's where we see damage as well. And then the last, fourth and final area that we see uh, pet damage is in the landscaping. So whether it's the front lawn, mainly the back lawn, if there is one, um, you're gonna see either pet feces um, or urine spots um, or holes, right? Where the dogs or whatever are digging up holes in the landscaping, in the grass area, and then again, urine as well as feces sometimes. So when you're looking at uh, your property, after there's been a renter there with pet or while they're still in there, those are the four main things that we've seen and that you should definitely check out or have your management company do that for you. So if you have any other questions, please let us know. Tyler with Management One, thanks for your time and we'll talk to you soon.